Hello and welcome to History Pod. If you'd like to join my other valued supporters who help to keep the daily episodes like this being researched, recorded and released, you can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play, or perhaps click to like the History Pod Facebook page. On the 2nd of March 1791, French scientist Claude Schapp sent the first message by semaphore machine, establishing a communication system that was faster than a messenger on horseback. Schapp was born into a wealthy family in 1763 and originally trained as a member of the church. However, the turmoil of the French Revolution meant that he was unable to continue in his position and he returned home to focus on science. Working with his brothers, Schapp soon began to experiment with optical telegraph designs. Schapp was not the first person to attempt to create a system of long-distance communication. The English scientist Robert Hooke had presented a proposal a century earlier, but his idea was never implemented. Consequently, the Schapp brothers were the first to successfully transmit a message when they demonstrated their system on the 2nd of March 1791, covering more than 16 kilometres from Brulon to Parce. Using what became known as the synchronised system, Schapp was able to transmit the phrase if you succeed you will soon bask in glory in just four minutes over the 16 kilometre distance. Two pendulum clocks had their faces modified with a series of symbols and, after being synchronised, were placed in the two locations alongside a telescope that pointed to the other. The transmitting station used black and white panels to alert the receiver to when the second hand of the clock was passing over the appropriate symbol, which they then recorded. The string of symbols, when decoded, then produced the message. Schapp soon abandoned synchronised clocks in favour of mechanical arms to portray the different symbols. When mounted on top of a tower, the arms could be seen through a telescope and their alignment either recorded or relayed onwards. A 230 kilometre semaphore line of these towers was therefore built between Paris and Lille from 1792. 